Did you know that the IRS lets you choose how your money gets taxed on your investments? They gave you a choice, all right? And there's three options in the tax code on how your money gets taxed when you're making money on investments. You can get taxed now, you can be taxed later, or you can be taxed never. Three choices you get to decide. Let's go through your options and how it works. And I don't care whether you're buying real estate and selling it for profit, or you're buying stocks and selling them for a gain. It's the same three choices. Let's walk through it. Let's say you personally own $100,000 of Facebook stock. You sell for 150 grand. You have a $50,000 gain. If you're doing this in your Robinhood account or your brokerage account, wherever it's at, that you personally own, that 50,000 of gain goes on to your tax return. If you owned it for six months, it's a short-term gain. Tax at whatever tax bracket you fall into. You're in a 35% tax bracket, 35% of 50,000. If it's a long-term capital gain, you get a 20% tax, 20% of 50 grand, 10 grand, all right? That's the tax you pay. Now, same deal if it was a piece of real estate. You bought it for 100 grand, you flipped it and sold it for 150, you made 50,000 bucks, same deal. Whatever tax bracket you're in, if it's short-term under a year, but if you held it over a year, you get long-term, which is a 20% capital gains rate. That's the max on the long-term, which is a lower rate typically. Now, I don't love that. I don't like paying taxes now. I don't wanna pay taxes when I'm making money on stock, or real estate, any investment asset. The next best option is taxed later. Sometimes people call this tax deferred. I like to call it taxed later. This is your IRA or 401k, your traditional IRA or 401k. When you're making money here in your traditional IRA or 401k, it's building up. If I had 100,000 of Facebook stock, I sell it for 150, that whole 150 goes back into my IRA account. I don't send the IRS anything. Same thing if I bought real estate with your IRA, which you can do by the way. We do it every day at Directed IRA. Your IRA doesn't have to just buy stocks and mutual funds. It can own real estate and private companies. But if you bought that with a traditional IRA or 401k, 100,000, you sold it for 150, that whole 150 goes back into your retirement account and now you can invest it in something else. Now there's a catch there, because it does get taxed later. Nothing went on your 1040, you didn't send anything to the IRS now, but when you retire and start pulling that money out, which retirement account's 59 and a half, you can start drawing it out. When you start pulling that out, you pay tax as you pull the money out. So it's taxed later. The cool thing about traditional accounts is, I get to build that money up, I get to reinvest everything, I get to grow a retirement account, I'm not paying a fine or penalty, tax, whatever you wanna call it, to the IRS every time I'm making money. I get to keep the whole bundle of money, keep reinvesting, keep growing. Over investing 20, 30 years, whatever your investment horizon is, that's a huge difference on the amount of money you're gonna have at the end of the day. But the catch is, you're taxed on the way out. Now there's one better than that. Tax never. This is the Roth IRA or Roth 401k. It's never taxed. The IRS has given us this option. They put it in the tax code. They said, if you use this account to buy investments and make money, we don't make you pay taxes on it. Now you can't touch it till you're 59 and a half, all the gains on the investment. That money's gonna grow, but it's gonna come out tax-free when you hit 59 and a half. So if I bought that 100,000 of Facebook stock, I sell for 150, now I got 150,000 in my Roth, no tax, I get to keep reinvesting it. And you know what? When I hit retirement age of 59 and a half, no tax on the way out either. I get to keep it all. Same thing with you're doing real estate. You can own real estate in a Roth IRA. All these other alternative assets are available. You don't just have to be buying stocks or ETFs. If you bought real estate for 100 grand, you sold it for 150, that whole 150 goes back into the Roth IRA. This could be a Roth 401k too. And then it's growing, reinvested. You pull out at retirement when you hit 59 and a half, no tax on the way out. This is the gold. You want gold. This is silver. This, this isn't even bronze because you're just paying the IRS taxes. This is a, you didn't even get a medal over here, okay? But over here is the gold. You want to be in the Roth account. Everybody should have a Roth IRA. Now, some people are like, well, Matt, I have to make too much money. I can't do a Roth IRA because there's income phase out for high income earners. Not true. I'm high income. I do a Roth IRA. You do what's called a backdoor Roth IRA where you make a traditional IRA, non-deductible contribution, and you do a Roth conversion, okay? So the Roth IRA is available to everyone. Everyone can have a Roth IRA. 
you might just have to do a backdoor Roth IRA. I've got lots of other content, podcast episodes, videos on just how the backdoor Roth IRA works. But I wanna hit one other important point. If you're like, Matt, I got a bunch of money in a traditional IRA. I'd rather be over on the Roth IRA side or maybe it's even traditional 401k. I wanna get to Roth 401k. Can I get over there? Can I get out of here with my retirement account dollars and get over to here into tax-free land? <laughs> yes, there's a ticket to tax-free land. It's called the Roth conversion. But there is a price for this ticket, all right? <laughs> this is not a free ticket. Let's say you have a $200,000 401k or 200,000 IRA, that's a traditional dollars. You put your money in, you are getting a tax deduction, it's traditional dollars. Sometimes it's called pre-tax. You're like, I wanna get over this Roth IRA game or Roth 401k game. I wanna build this thing and have it come out totally tax-free at retirement. You can do that. It's called a Roth conversion. Anyone can do a Roth conversion regardless of income. Prior rules, income restricted it. Those have been removed. At any income, you can convert from traditional over to Roth. Now, I said there's a price to pay. The ticket has a price. If you have a $200,000 traditional account, you want to be a 200,000 Roth account, you're going to get 1099. So like if you're with us at Directed IRA and you've got a traditional account and you say, Matt, convert that over to Roth, I can do it. I'm going to give you a Roth IRA account tomorrow. Now this thing's growing tax free. But what you're going to get from us is a 1099 for $200,000. The IRS makes you take that into income now. So if you're in a 30% tax bracket, you know, Fed, 5% state on $200,000, you're going to have a $70,000 tax bill to IRS and state to make that conversion over to Roth. Now, that $70,000 now hurts. This is painful for you now. And I know the reaction is typically, why in hell would I do that, Matt? I don't want to go over to Roth if I got to pay seventy dollars in the example here on a $200,000 account. But let me tell you why you would. Let's say that $200,000 account turns into a million dollar account. At the end of the day, if you have a million dollar Roth IRA because you've been investing it for 20 years, 30 years, whatever the case, you were at 200,000, would you rather have a million dollar Roth account or a $200,000, excuse me, would you rather have a million dollar Roth account or a million dollar traditional account? Remember, if you're still in that same income tax bracket of 35% total between federal and state, what is that gonna be? That's $350,000 of taxes on a million as you're pulling that out of a traditional account. But if it was Roth, that whole million's coming out, zero tax. Yeah, I paid 70 grand a while ago, a decade before, whatever your time horizon is, but now it's coming out totally tax-free. So you can get over to this tax-free game. There is a price to pay, this is called a Roth conversion. Sometimes you can do it in pieces too. A lot of our clients like to chunk, where they will use their traditional dollars, and let's say it's that 200,000, but they'll say, you know what, I'm gonna convert 100,000 this year, It'll go on my 2023 tax return. And then next year in 2024, I'll do the other 100,000. That way I get the whole 200 in as Roth, but I break up the tax burden between two years. So I'm not paying 70 grand in one year to the IRS and state. Maybe it's just 35 one year, 35 the next. Or maybe I can get myself down where I'm actually in a lower tax bracket by breaking up these incomes between two years. And it could be multiple years. I'm just giving an example there of two. So that's the way it works. When you're investing your money, you're making investments, you're trying to build wealth, you have options. You can pay taxes now and put it on your 1040 as you're making money. You can pay taxes later with your traditional IRA or 401k, kick the bucket down the road, build the account as big as you can, reinvest every dollar you're making, but pay taxes on the way out. And maybe you're in a lower tax bracket at retirement. You know, there's a lot of people who still do traditional accounts. Or you can get over to the gold standard the Roth IRA or Roth 401k, zero tax, building tax-free wealth, don't have to stress about tax rates going up when you're in retirement, it's totally tax-free on the way out. Now you can learn more about this, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, gilbertamattsorensen.com. We wanna help you take control of your retirement.